you can come over here. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sierra. This is Captain, and she just decided to be in today's video. So that's okay. You could be in the video. As you guys can tell from the title, we are going to be organizing, counting, going through, updated fidget tour type of video today. I got a new set of drawers and they desperately need to be put together and filled up because behind my desk is just simply, it's atrocious. It, the, the fidgets have gotten crazy. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> She's going wild today. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. This is the current situation with my fidgets. As you can see, everything is overflowing. This is the new drawer system. It is just a double studio cart thing that I got from Amazon. I am hoping that it is pretty quick to put together. Oh, this is definitely much bigger than my current system. I love that this one has different depths in the drawers. I have so many like extra large stress balls that just don't fit in these little ones. I definitely think that these larger ones will be perfect for that. <laughs> this might take a minute. I'll see you guys when this is done. <laughs> After a few minor hiccups, It is now finished. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she beautiful? She's done. All right. Now there's only one thing left to do. Bring in the fidgets. Just kidding. I'm the only one here. I gotta go get them. Okay, I now have all of my fidgets right here. As you can see, they are in every type of container you could ever imagine. And my old drawer system, which even being one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 is still not enough. So I think the first thing I need to do is to organize them by type. So I do actually have a couple like pillow fidgets. So those will go into a section. I'll have a section for like my poppets, a section for stress balls. I'll put everything into piles according to what type of fidget it is. And then I'll show you guys those piles. I have now organized to the best of my ability every fidget that I have, including the ones at home. The only fidgets I did not add were the ones that I keep on this table here because they, they kind of live here. But guys, I think this is a problem. Let's go through it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to count them as I put them in these drawers. I'm almost thinking I'm still gonna need these drawers as well. Um, so I'm glad I have them as a backup option. So I've got all of these that I can fill up. So I'm gonna start by trying to put like different types in each one. I'll count how many I have. I will let you guys know and then I'll put it in a drawer and then that'll be the category for that drawer. So first we're gonna start with monkey noodles. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine monkey noodles and they're all different types of monkey noodles. I have one, two, three snake cubes, two wacky tracks, one, two, three, four, five tangles, three infinity cubes, one of these forever infinity spinners. We're gonna include those with the infinity cubes. I have one, two, three, four zippy bracelets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven marble meshes. We'll put those together. One, 
two, three, four of these flippy chains, two acupressure rings, one bike chain, two pea pods, two peanut pods, one, two, three, four, five, six water snakes, three water timers. The AC just kicked on, so I'm so sorry about the noise. It is really hot in here though. And, oh, we will put these over here as well. We've got a stretchy burger and a stretchy pizza. All of these are toys for the giveaway, so I will keep those separate. And these are all broken fidgets, so I will keep those separate as well. I wonder if those would fit in drawers, like a broken fidget drawer. Yeah, let's do that. So this fidget drawer will be all of the fidgets for giveaways, giftaways, um, when kids come in. I like to give them a fidget if they, um, you know, came in because they saw me on TikTok or YouTube. So that'll be this drawer. And then this drawer will be all of my broken fidgets. I cut these open on um, TikTok. I have a series on TikTok where I cut all these open. If you guys want to see that over here on YouTube as well, let me know. I would be more than happy to cut some of these open for a video so we can see what's inside. And let's put mochis in this one. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one mochis. <laughs> We're gonna have to turn around, guys, so I can do the rest. The fidgets I have the most of are obviously all of my stress balls. So I think that's gonna take up the majority of these drawers. So I'm gonna go with my extra large stress balls first. Those, I have one, two, three, four of these extra large stress balls. <laughs> Let's do mesh balls. One, two, three, four, five, I count these as mesh balls, six, seven. I count this as a type of mesh pop-out ball, eight, nine, 10. My favorite are the slow rising DNA balls. I have one, two, let's get you guys out from the backlit. Three, four, five, six, seven. And then let's move into the DNA balls. One, two, three DNA balls. I've got two barnyard animals slash kawaii kitties. They are pretty much the same. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five, like Orby filled balls. One dough ball. For my fidgets filled with sand, I've got the little wiener dog, carrot, hot dog, banana, and a pizza slice. For squishies, we will put those in. Here are the mesh balls. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those. For like my miscellaneous squishies, I've got the poop. I've got two squirrels. I've got a pup in a costume. I've got a tentacle confetti ball. Oh, for the extra large ones, we will also put all of my like air filled balls in. We've got this guy, this guy, my whale, and hedgehog. My Neato collection. I've got the 
gradient needle. I think what is called. Will he fit? Nope. We're gonna put him in the extra large. But I've got color changing. I've got three color changing balls. I've got a glow in the dark needle, a snowball needle, a hairy needle, and this is actually a globble. I also have, oh, this guy's filled with air too. So he goes in the air filled ones. I'm already losing track of where everything is. Oh, air filled ones are in here. This brain one is filled with all sorts of different crazy things. I love this monster. He's filled with like a cool texture. I've got an extra large sticky fish. We're gonna put him with those interesting things over there for a minute. And then I've got like a tomato, a shiny sparkly bear. I'm not counting these. So editing Sierra is gonna have a lot of work to do. I've got this egg. Another gel ball, another gel ball, another gel ball, and another gel ball. All those will go in there. This guy is filled with air, so we will put him in with the air. <laughs> Up top, we'll put the magnetic things. So I've got the little magnetic beads, the magnetic rocks, my magnet rings, and my magnetic balls. In here, we will also put my fidget pads and some other miscellaneous fidgets that I'm not quite sure where they belong. These like hand exercise fidgets that are good for when I'm editing. My crunchy. I have this little puzzle ball. And up top, we'll put my insanity. And I've got a puzzle like cylinder and two different types of puzzle balls. I'm gonna pop those up there. This guy is like a puzzle ball as well. Okay, we're almost there, guys. All of my bouncy balls, as well as this interesting guy can go together. And then I'm gonna put in this one with my bouncy balls and my interesting balls are all of my miscellaneous different shaped fidget animal things. Let me show you guys what I mean. I have an inside out frog, a porcupine, this dragon, this little arm man. <laughs> I have an extra large jumbo jelly teddy bear. I've got this stretchy man. I've got this thing that kind of looks like the coronavirus. We also have our T-Rex, y'all. I've been filming for so long. And then the jellyfish can go in there. This guy is an Orby ball. So I feel like he should go up here with the frog. And then these are kind of like mochi sized guys. So we will put these with the mochis as well. This one is heavy. Okay, moving back to the rainbow. Um, in with like the pea pods and stuff, I've got two of these pencil toppers. And then with the mochis, we will put the balloon animals in there, as well as this funny dude. His little eyes pop out. Um, okay, poppets. Poppets are a whole nother thing. Mm. I also have this that's gonna go on top, and that'll be for like fidgets that I'm working with uh, at the moment. So we're gonna do the top two drawers of poppets. I've got two of these hard shell poppets. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these like shaped poppets. I'm gonna put one of them up here. You guys can see me. I'm gonna put one of them up here in this guy because I think I use poppets a lot. So we'll put like the carrot up here. And then I've got one and two fidget spinner poppets. I've got one, two, three, four, five of like the smaller poppets. Oh, I found an additional mochi. I don't know how many that makes, but I found another one. All of my wooden fidgets, I'll put up here, I guess. I've got three wooden fidgets. I might have to combine some of these drawers. I'm already running out of space and we still have a couple more. Not very many, we're almost done, guys. Up in the wooden fidgets, I'm gonna add some of these tiny, these three miscellaneous like animal fidgets. 
I'm gonna put my snappers in here. And this little mini poppet, I'm gonna put with the carrot poppet. I'll show you guys everything that I put in here in just a minute. So these are kind of like the extra large ones. Put these in here. Okay, I also have two ramen noodles, which <laughs> I, I am running low, guys, on stamina, places to put fidgets, remembering names. I also have two of these guys. I don't know what they're called, but they like spin. <laughs> and we're down to my loopers, which I'll put up here. This drawer are by Poppets, Mochis, Water Snakes, Water Timers. These are small, like handheld ones, pea pods, poppers, flippy chains, um, acupressure rings, bike chains, zippy bracelets, and marble and mesh. These are infinity fidgets, tangles, and wacky tracks, snake cubes, and all of my monkey needles. In this system, I've got my puzzle fidgets, magnetic fidgets, and fidgets for like he your hands. These are stress balls, my stretchy foods, bouncy balls, animal stress balls, animal fidgets, miscellaneous, broken fidgets that need to be cut. Again, let me know if you wanna see this on the YouTube channel. Sand filled fidgets and miscellaneous interesting squishy fidgets. Orby fidgets, as well as my dough ball. <laughs> Slow rise DNA balls, regular DNA balls, and Kawaii Kitty and Barn Animal. Mesh balls and squishies. Extra large stress balls that don't fit anywhere else of all different types. And fidgets for future giveaways. Oh my gosh. I'm exhausted. That was so much. <sighs> the three like fidget toys that I had showed you guys at the beginning were these pillow fidgets. Again, those will go in the baby area. But now all of my drawers are actually organized. And as you guys could see, a lot of the drawers had a lot of empty space. I feel like that is kind of like a mix of room to grow, room for my mind to relax. I want my fidgets to relax me and keep me calm. I don't want them to be like shoved to the gills and then them cause me more stress because that's not what fidgets are for. But they are now all beautifully organized and I'm so excited for kids to come into the playroom so they can see them, so they can play with them. And hopefully we will have less fidgets breaking now that they have like a nice organized place to go. It feels weird saying that's all I have for you in today's video because that seemed like a lot. At least for me, it was a lot. I don't know how many fidgets I have. Hopefully editing Sierra can put it here on the screen. Oh my God. It's probably a big number. It's probably a very big number. I've been collecting these for about like nine months now and I definitely feel blessed with my collection and I'm excited to share with you guys. I'm excited, excited. I am excited to share with the kids that come into the playroom. So thank you guys for coming along this chaotic, crazy journey of organizing these fidgets with me. Speaking of fidgets, I just ordered some from Shein. I've got a couple of challenges I wanna do with the boys and just a lot more content coming up. So if you guys liked this video, I would like it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, I would love it if you would subscribe. If you guys have anything else you wanna see, let me know down in the comments. And I almost forgot. Wash your hands. Bye guys.